So today I am going to be showing you how to create TikTok ads using AI. And the best part is we're gonna be using a 100% free tool that in my experience works just as well as any of the paid tools out there. The tool that we are gonna be using today is TikTok's very own TikTok Symphony. This is something that TikTok recently came out with to basically help people create ads in a more efficient way. TikTok knows that one of the barriers that companies have to running ads on TikTok is creating the videos. So they want to make that process as easy as possible for people. So that's why they released this new software that honestly is just as good as any of the paid solutions that I've seen out there. So I wanted to go through and talk about how you get access to TikTok Symphony and then also how you can actually go through and use TikTok Symphony. So as you can see at the time of this recording, this is currently under beta. So you do have to request access to the beta in order to actually start creating AI videos with Symphony. It's very easy to do though. I'll leave a link to this down below. You can see you can just scroll down and there's this little join beta club. Once you click on this, it's going to ask you to log into your TikTok account. Once you've logged in, it will then send you an email. Uh, usually within, for me, it was like within 24 hours letting me know that I now have access and then I can go and actually join TikTok Symphony and start creating videos using their AI tool. And what that's going to end up looking like is it will take you to a page that looks like this. And then now instead of join beta, you can see there will be the little try now button. Once you click on that, it will actually take you to the AI generator where you can go through and generate these videos. Now, as you can see here, what's really cool about this product is that there are three, there's actually technically four different kind of videos that you can create. The first one being a product video, the second an avatar narrative narration, and then the third one is a dubbed translation. And I've gone through and I've played with all of these and all of them have their kind of pros and cons, but overall I have been really happy with the outcome of each one of these specific product types. So I wanna go through each one of these. The first one we're gonna talk about is the product videos. So we're gonna click inside of here and you're gonna see what's cool about this is basically you can take one of your current product pages and use AI to turn that into a TikTok ad. So what, in order to do that, you can just click on here, add product. You can see these are some of the ones that I've uh, already gone through and created or tested with. And once you click on that, you can either manually upload the information so you can add the product name, brand, product price, and then the description, and then add any images or videos that you would like to add. You can go through and do that manually. Or what you can do is you can do import link. And then from here, you can either grab an Amazon listing, your Shopify listing, your TikTok shop listing, or just a different link as well and put it inside there. In order for the Shopify link to work, you will need to make sure that the TikTok shop app is connected to your, your Shopify store. So keep that in mind. For this example, we are gonna be using an Amazon link. I wanna go through and use this product detailing putty here. We're gonna show you how to go through and create a video with that. So we're gonna grab this link on Amazon. We're gonna come back over here. We're gonna paste that into this little port and then we're gonna hit import. What it's gonna do is it's going to crawl that page for any images that are on the page and also grab the description for this specific product. So we'll give that a second. It usually takes just a few seconds here. You can see you can go through and opt into what pictures maybe you want it to use and which ones you don't. So say maybe I didn't want it to use this picture. I can unclick that and now it will only take images from these four here. Then we can go through and add content. And then you can see it already has the description here. It pulled in the price. You can go through and adjust those as you need. But now all we want to do is come over here and hit generate. And you can see what this is going to do is it's going to start generating the videos. This usually takes less than a minute. It's going to automatically create avatars based on the ones that they recommend. But you can see here in this left-hand side, you can actually go through and change the avatar category. Well, I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but I do want to get these all loaded up so you can see what this looks like initially. Okay, and you can see this is going to automatically generate four different videos for you. And you can see one of these is actually inside of the car right now. Now, one thing that's important to note when you are creating these videos and you're looking at the preview, you do want to take note of this in order to quickly generate and show a preview the video quality has lowered and lip syncing may be off export the video to see a higher quality video so when you're looking at the previews of these you'll notice the lip syncing is completely off so that kind of gives you an idea of what that looks like and you saw how slow it was and kind of how the lip syncing wasn't off but once I go through and export that it will be a lot better trust me so I'll, I'll give you an example of what that looks like here in a minute but from here what you can do is say that I wanted only people in the car so I can click on this and then uh, I can either in this left hand side either change the duration so I can have it be 15 seconds 30 seconds or a mix and then the music I can have trending music uh, TikTok viral happy chill uh, change any of those and then generate more so here I want someone to be in the, the car I want the music to be TikTok viral and then we're gonna generate more here. Okay, and you can see now it gave us four more examples of people in cars and generated all the scripts for these. So then I can go through and hover over this and get an idea of what this looks like. Give an idea of the audio. And you can see the, the lips are a little bit off. So now what I'm gonna do is 
export this and you can see kind of what the quality is like now. So we're gonna select this one. And then once we have it selected, we're gonna come over here to the selected and then we're going to either save to a new project or export it. So we're gonna go through and export this out. Okay, so now we have this thing all downloaded. I wanna show you the difference in the quality of the lip sync. So let me go through and play this. What if I told you there's a single tool that keeps your car venting fresh and clean? This innovative gel cleans air vents, steering wheel, console, and more. No water, no fuss, it lifts dirt away. It's eco-friendly, leaving no harm to your car's interior. Say goodbye to grime, say hello to a spotless car. Try this must-have heat. So you kind of get the idea. It's pretty crazy that it goes through and generates the script, it adds the captions, and on top of that, it also goes through and of course has the avatar. And in my opinion, it looks super realistic. So that's the first thing that you can do with this. And you can go through, and once you've exported that, if you wanted to save this project, you can save this over here and just call this, you know, car gel. Uh, whatever it may be, and then you can save it, and then it will save into your projects, not only the video that you exported, but all of those other videos that it generated. So what this allows you to do is go through and test multiple amounts of videos when you are running your TikTok ads. You can see here, once we click on that, then we can go back to the Symphony. We come over here to our projects, and here's all the projects that we have, including the one that we just did with the car gel. Now, the next thing that you can do if you didn't wanna show product images or anything like that is you can actually do a full-on avatar narration. So if I click inside of here, we can go through and choose the avatar that we wanna use. You can see there are a ton of different avatars. Uh, you can go through and filter out any one that you want. So you can see you can have industry, e-commerce, gaming, finance, education, body gestures, standing, sitting upright, uh, clothing style, scene, like in a specific spot, like say I wanted somebody in a kitchen, I can click on that and then have any kind of gender. So if I wanted people, anybody who is in a kitchen in casual clothing, any gender, I can hit confirm here. It's then going to filter those out and then I have a couple of different options. So say that I wanted to run an ad for this one right here, I can select this avatar. And now you can see we have a preview of the avatar. And then here on the left-hand side, this is where you can go through and create a script. Um, I do think it's kind of interesting that they don't have a little script generator inside of here, because if you go over to the TikTok Creative Center, they do, you can use their Symphony Assistant you can see over here. I'm surprised this isn't in the actual editor tool. I'm sure they'll add this soon. But what you can do is you can say, you know, write me a TikTok script for my sweater product, you know, something like that. And it can be for any kind of product. And what it's gonna do is you see here, there's a previous one that I did. It gives you like hook scenes and scenarios like uh, shoes, but this will give you the voiceover that you need, the text, and then also different scenes. So what you could do here is you grab this voiceover and then put this on just like this if you wanted help with the script. Or of course you can put whatever script you're wanting to inside of here. But just for an example, I wanted to go through and put that in there. And, and then here you can choose the voice. So this is kind of cool. You can actually go through and choose a specific voice whether you wanted Kevin you can leave that there or you can just have the default voice you can see there's a ton of different options here that you can go through and do and then you can change the avatar again if you wanted to and the music here and then there are different assets if you wanted to go through and upload some of your assets you could do that and then there are stickers here as well but I did want to just show you what this ends up looking like with this small little script here you can add I haven't tested to see how long the script can actually be but um, I've done up to a minute and it has worked uh, without any problems this will kind of give you an example of what it looked like but you want to export it to see what the final product looks like uh, as I have mentioned before so we'll go through and export that and I'll show you what this one looks like here in just a second okay and then once that is all exported here's what this ends up looking like just got my hands on the coziest sweater for the season can't wait to show you why it's my new winter staple so you can see pretty realistic looking and the fact that you can go through and make these just about uh, you know over a minute long is pretty awesome still not quite there but i imagine as time goes on the technology is only going to get better and better so this is great if you are wanting to have a talking head video and you just don't have the person to put in front of the camera you can go through and utilize one of these avatars there are of course some cons to this because you can't actually have somebody holding a product or showing off different things but you could use this to go through and, and take this and then export it and then even put overlays like put it into cap cut or something and do overlays on top of this video as well to show your product but just another option for you when you're looking at tiktok ads and the third option that you have here is to actually take a current video and translate it into a different language. So you can come over here to dub translation and this actually blew me away at how this ended up sounding. I did one on for myself and I don't speak any of the languages, but I want to show you the example of this video, but you can see here, you can upload a video. Once you upload the video, we'll just grab a random video here. We can even just take this one of 
Malik in the kitchen. Uh, it will automatically detect the language. Then you can say which one to translate to. You can see here are the current languages that it can translate to. In my example, I did Spanish and then you can do the clone. And then here's an important thing for the lip sync. So lip sync is not supported when there are multiple people talking. Lips are covered. Lighting conditions are abnormal or there are background noises unrelated to people in the frame. So you do want to turn this on when you are using this, but you can see once you turn it on, it will make it so that it takes about five to 10 minutes to go through and process. So keep that in mind, but it is pretty incredible what this can go through and do. So you can go through and hit confirm. Once you've done, gone through and hit confirm, just because I was testing this before, I don't want to wait 10 minutes for this to generate again. I do want to show you an example of what this actually can look like. So you can see here, this is what it ends up looking like when it's all done. This is a video that I just went through and recorded and uh, had it translate into Spanish. And I am actually surprised at how much it not only sounds like me, but then I don't speak Spanish. So I, maybe people, anybody who's watching the video who speaks Spanish can uh, confirm the, the accuracy of this, but I think it did a pretty good job. So let's give you an example of what this sounds like. El teléfono mientras estás en un vuelo está hecho para colocarse frente al asiento delante de ti. Así puedes tener un soporte para el móvil. Lo que me... So you probably saw there, this is important and this is what they're saying. There's a moment where I put the thing in front of my mouth and I wanna do that to show you kind of what happens. If you are doing this type of video, you wanna make sure that your mouth is fully visible the entire time and you're not covering up with anything because what happens is the talking mouth kind of goes over the video and it just doesn't look very good as you can see here in this example, it kind of just flips over that way. But as long as the mouth is actually visible, I think this does a really good job. The lip syncing looks like it is actually going and speaking in Spanish. Creepy how well it sounds like me in this video. Now, one final thing that you can do with this TikTok Symphony that actually isn't added inside of this current UI, and I'm sure it's just because this is in it currently in beta, but if you actually come to the homepage of the Gen AI Beta Club and you look, there is a third thing. So we just went through the product to video. We talked about the dubbing and the digital avatar. There actually is this feature for remix video. If you're inside the platform there, I haven't found a way to actually get to this feature, but if you come here and then you click on try it now, it will take you directly to this point where you can use the remix feature. What this is gonna do is if you you have a current TikTok video that is performing well, you can upload it inside of here and it will create different versions of that video. This is perfect if you're wanting to test different versions or your current creative is, is getting fatigued. You can upload it in here and have multiple options to run. And if you are new to TikTok ads and not sure how to go through and test these creative now that you've generated a bunch of different ads, I encourage you to check out this video right here. It's a full TikTok ads tutorial that will walk you through the entire process. And it will also walk you through how to claim a $500 TikTok ad credit when you go through and create your TikTok ads account. So be sure to take advantage of that. And don't forget to subscribe if you found this one valuable. We'll see you in the next one.